the market has had a bounce in the last couple of weeks and if you want to know which stocks have done well during that particular bounce and learn from them or to find out how many of them your methodology would have signaled or you want to find out which one you cap managed to capture which one you didn't manage to capture and how can you next time do it better then this kind of a study can help you in terms of really perfecting and continuously learning from your own systems and methods so there is a very simple way to do this in tc2000 and i'll show you that so that you can use it to find whether your methodology or your signals which you use or the scans which you use can find those kind of stocks so in order to do that let's go to tc2000 and when we go to tc2000 uh, what you can create is you can create a universe which is basically a list of stocks which have basically a liquidity condition attached to them so this is us common stocks and american depository receipts and liquidity i'm looking for stocks which have traded at least 100000 in the last 3 days uh, kind of a thing and pr price about 3 because i don't really trade stocks price below 3 so if you take this as a universe list basically and you want to find out on this when the spy made a move like as you can see the spy has made a move right here in terms of uh, going up from here to here and which is approximately 13% move or you just want to find out here which stocks have made a move or let's just find out from here to here during this time period which stocks made the move so if you go from here to here it's a 5% bounce which happened in the market right so in order to do that let's do custom date sort so you go to tables look for custom date sorts and when you do the custom date sort something like this will show up so you put it and make it there now this is not actually captured this day but you can adjust that here now once you adjust it here from this to day to today the market was up 5.96% so you just sort it and add a column now once we sort it and added a column now you have these stocks which have made the biggest move obviously amtd digital was the stock which made the biggest move during this particular move right and that stock means like you want to find out you look and what is the signal or what kind of scan would have found it at the beginning of that particular move or like and is your system or your scans designed to find these kind of stocks and if you want to find that what you can do is basically you can like and say look at this right and so one of the scans which i use is called 4% scan so this is where the stock had this 4% breakout right again one of the other scan which i use is a dollar breakout so this is where it had a dollar breakout signal basically right uh, so that way you can find stocks using those kind of signals so here there is a dollar breakout signal uh, and it's not this is not dollar breakout signal actually like and this should be the dollar breakout signal yeah this is the dollar breakout signal so you see on this day it showed the stock in a dollar breakout kind of a thing right so you want to make sure that your scan can find stocks like this like obviously uh, whenever stocks make these kind of big moves they will show up in 4% breakout so that's one of the things which i always use uh, but like and if you keep looking at these uh, things and keep looking at and then you can go through the top 100 and see which one of them you would have traded like this is something which i traded and this is something which i still have a position open currently so this is something which i found using my system 4% breakout only basically right and once it passed 3 dollars kind of a thing uh, so again here this particular stock would have shown up in 4% breakout on this particular day and from there the stock made a move up 58% so uh, again coin showed up on this day on 4% breakout so again that's like an that's the signal basically how lim was also high so that was the signal and each of these stocks then like and will show up in different kinds of methods right and tupperware was a earnings breakout yesterday and it had earnings breakout and yesterday itself it made more than 50% move and then today it has another follow through kind of a thing right and so this is again a earnings breakout today there was an earnings and as a earnings breakout uh, though so 
if you study these kind of stocks and see where they will show up in your scan and how did you manage those trade how many of these this is something which i uh, bought on this day and i still have a position open in this particular thing so i managed to catch up couple of big uh, trades out of this particular last uh, couple of days kind of a thing revlon this is another thing which i bought on this day and sold same day because it made such a crazy move on the same day but again it was in a 4% breakout kind of a uh, breakout right so i did find couple of good trades from the, these things right and basically so that makes me happy because my system or method is finding those kind of trade this is nova this is a earnings breakout now it is breaking out again after a pause so this is something which can still be bought kind of a thing but it was again a earnings breakout basically uh, so if you go and study this you'll find that you can see here this is a 4% breakout this is a 4% breakout here on a high volume uh, and here agios on the day on which this move started again it will show up in a 4% breakout so and i have done video on 4% breakout so you can see my old videos on dibold again on a 4% breakout at the start of the trend so typically if you want to find these kind of stocks packs which is something which we i pointed out yesterday in the on the member site and it's up now 22% today again where did it show up it showed up in 4% so uh, bunch of these i managed to get in just because of the kind of scanning which i do which invariably gets in this kind of stocks at the beginning of their swing moves basically uh, so and obviously i do lot more high price stocks so if you are looking at a higher price stocks or if you are looking at something like meli meli will show up here again in 4% breakout it will show up here in a dollar breakout right so those are the two basic kind of things which i trade basically and most of the stocks which will make a big move they will all show up in 4% breakout if they are going to make those kind of moves right so that way i know very clearly that uh, the kind of uh, things which i am using to find trades is working also the fact that i have managed to find uh, trades out of this you can't catch every trade because uh, of capital and how you take trade if you have capital invested in a trade you are not going to take the next signal but having uh, looked at this if you see uh, there are a lot of uh, stocks within this which i have traded in the last couple of days and found them right and just by following a simple methodology now this kind of a thing can help you because then it tells you whether you are really participating in the right kind of a move like this enough is i bought it on this day right at the open and sold it also now so these are kind of things which you can find if you have a well set methodology right and if you have well set methodology you can find stocks like this at the beginning 4% breakout now here this kind of a stock will show up uh, in either like an a, i have a methodology called low threshold breakout it might show up in that kind of a thing on that day or today if it is not showing up uh, it might so these are the kind of things which can help you even that enta if you see here this was a clean 4% breakout right and on this particular day and after that the stock has made a big move so do this kind of a study uh, some people have a permanent bearish bias or they are constantly shorting right uh, again during this particular time period how many stocks went down and you can like and look at the stocks which went down not many stocks went down and there are not many tradable bearish moves at least in the kind of methodology which i use i didn't see many bearish moves which have, uh, could work basically but few of them work basically like this aerc was one of them which was like in a clean uh, breakdown kind of a thing others no, didn't so that way if you do this study regularly either on a weekly basis or on a uh, monthly basis where you look at compared to the indexes what is uh, what stocks have gone up most and then go back and see where you would have got a signal why didn't you select that stock on that particular day if you selected what did you go do right or wrong and then from that you can re do your scans or rework your scans and find those things for me it's not a problem because uh, every single one of the stocks which makes a big move here you can see every one of these big stocks will show up in a 4% breakout so it's just a matter of selecting the right one um, and uh, being in them 
you are not going to be in all of them, but if you are in the one which are like any the like this today, this is a good example of like any quick money on that or things like this. Then you know what you are doing is right, and you are going to be capturing large moves whenever large moves happen. Here again, this is a four percent breakout, right? If you are not, if your system is not finding them, uh, then you need to rework the system to find stocks like this uh, whenever the market is going up or going down. So this is one of the simple ways in which you can improve your own trading by looking at um, your own system versus the market.